First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekako Dosh, and the ones to those great millstones, while lunch is true. And also to the overlaps that scattered abroad. I like to say, so warm. And come back here today with another great Bible lesson, the spirit of power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. So type D lesson is, there is no more any prophet. So I like to say shalom to all our listeners. learn. Hope this will be today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So before we start the day lesson, I have a quick news article here by the people voice. And it reads, it says, Trudeau praying in public, reading out loud from Bibles is hate speech to be severely punished. Let's get a little bit more. It said the Trudeau government has introduced a bill that could land Christians in prison for quoting the Bible or expressing a traditional faith or based opinion if the Canadian government deems it. Bill C-367 purported to amend the criminal code will redefine the boundaries of free speech, criminalizing public Bible Bible reading, prayers, and other expression of Christian teaching. So we know that what the family of the word is faster approach. That's why uh, the Lord has the men of the Lord is constantly, you know, uh, standing on their watch, constantly uh, rightly dividing the word of truth, whether you will hear or whether you will forbear. So we already know that it's getting ready to be a expiration date on this truth, on this gospel, this wisdom. So this gospel shall be preached throughout the four cones of the earth, then shall the end come. And also we know that Jacob's trouble is, is at the door. We know that the hour of temptation is fast approach. And one thing about it is that, you know, we know that the Lord is getting ready to uh, cut this truth off. And also he's getting ready to bring for that judgment. So we see right here, this Canadian uh, the government, which in fact, uh, uh, the, I think it's the president of uh, Canada. He's uh, entering, introduced this bill about, free speech about censorship and also uh hate speech so a lot of people deem the truth as hate speech because the lord has not uh, has blinded them the lord has gave them a strong delusion so we already had in israel back in uh back in uh, uh paul's time when he had his misery it was always what's the what the unbeliever and the believer so it's coming down to the why one thing about it, we knowing that uh two part very end the two thirds are getting ready to be cut off and die because what they were that same rebellious house that did not want to return to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So one thing about it, we knowing that persecution of the saints is fast approaching. And we already know that, you know, that uh when you go to Revelation chapter uh uh Revelation chapter two and verse ten, it tell you that, you know, that some of uh, Satan shall cast some of you into prison, the physical counterpart of Satan, which in fact is the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. We already know that he got these guillotines right. We know that he got these uh, so-called quarantine camp, these FEMA camp, get everything in place. So we already know that it's getting ready to be a time of trouble that we have never seen before. So we see that the men of the Lord, you know, risking their lives in freedom each and every day, making themselves a living sacrifice. You know, the Lord told us, you know, said, keep not silent, warn them for me. And the Lord compel us to go out in the highways and the byway. The chief place a corn core. You know what I'm saying? Lift your voice up like a trump. These things are getting ready to come to an end. And one thing about the Lord is getting ready to make our tongue cleave to the roof of our mouth. And one thing about it, we knowing that our salvation is very close at the door. So let's get a little bit more of this article. Let's read this again. Uh, it said, Bill C-367 uh, purported uh, to amend the criminal code will redefine the boundaries of free speech, criminalizing uh, public Bible readings, prayers, and other expression of Christian teaching. So, you know, one thing about see, so we see it is right now, a lot of people are. Uh, will buck up at the truth. You tell them that the Lord don't love everyone. You know, they, hey, they, they, you know, we already know that you will be uh, thrown into prison and also even killed. A lot of, of the saints uh, back then, you know, and uh, when the, when Yahweh Shah walked this earth and also the 12 disciples, you know what I'm saying? When you look at, look at it and you study, you see that, you know, most of them, I think it was only one with John was the only one that survived all the rest of it, even including our Lord and Savior, was put to death. So one thing about it, we know it's coming around this time again. First, they hated him, our Lord and Savior, and our great deliverer, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach. You know, they hated him first. Also, they shall hate you, you know, for this word, for this testimony. you getting ready to be persecuted. You're getting ready to be tried. So all the game's about to be over. So a lot of people right now are constantly, a lot again. Some people that have this garment on here, playing games, still don't 
don't know what they're involved in. You know, so one thing about it, you know, we're in a spiritual warfare. And one thing about it, we know that things are going to get very, very bad. You know what I'm saying? Through much tribulation, you shall enter the kingdom of heaven. So we, you know, we were at the starting point right here. And one thing about it, you know, you're getting ready to be tried. A lot of us will be thrown into prison. Some people has not even faced in any any sort of adversity, but it's getting ready to come. Everyone on the planet is getting ready to be tried. It's getting ready to be a global event. It's called what? Jacob's trouble. And who would be the most in trouble? The Negroes, the Latinos, the native Indians. I'm talking to you. It is time to return to your true power while you still have time. But one thing about it, you know, hey, hey, it's getting ready to be a thing of the past. Famine of the word and fast approach. You already hear about these cyber attacks, different things like that. So you see this bill right here is in play. Just out there reading the Bible, you know, you could get, you know, it's a possibility get put in print, also put to death. Also, you know, out there, you know, so we know this thing is going to constantly pick up. We're seeing the uprising. We're seeing a lot of uh, unrest. We're seeing a lot of uncertainty and desperation. These times are getting worse and worse. Our evil time, our ill time, our perilous time. Once again, Jacob Trump. That's really a bit more of this all. It said, uh, this move by uh, Trudeau liberals. Uh, government has been uh, interpreted by many as an attempt to criminalize Christianity and traditional values under uh, pretense of combating uh, un undefined hate speech. So one thing about it, you already know who they are targeting. They are getting ready to target the what? The Hebrew Israelite. Uh, they are, uh, as we are known as the what? The black Hebrew Israelite. You know, they already try to label us. Also, they're going to lump us all together. So a lot of people right now, you know, they claim that they are Israelite. You know what I'm saying? That they love the Lord. Well, the Lord is getting ready to find out very soon. The Lord already know who is men. And, you know what I'm saying? One thing about it, you know, the, uh, the elect will not bend the fold. So we're going to have a lot of men, you know what I'm saying? Walk that talk. You know, and look like, act like, but the Lord's getting ready to find out, you know, so who is the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And one thing about it there, you know, hey, you can't fake this out of you, the real McCall, or you getting ready for that fire. Very soon, the Lord's getting ready to try everyone on the planet. Lord already know who his men are, but one thing about it, we got to go through this last and final battle right before what? The great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we see this bill here, Bill C. Three six seven. So these devil, the devils get ready to come down with great wrath. It says here, it said if passed, Bill C six uh three sixty seven could land Christians in jail for quoting the Bible or expressing a faith based opinion in the Canadian government deems it uh, a a promotion promotion of hate or uh, anti uh, 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 sinalism. So one thing about it, we already know, you know, they didn't got a damn thing, you know what I'm saying, to, to do with us, you know what I'm saying, the men of the law. We already know that these things are going to happen, you know what I'm saying? We knowing that we're going to be persecuted. But one thing about it, that a lot of people still think that these things are a game, you know, that they're going to lump us all up together. We're seeing this bill right here. It's in uh, uh, Canada right now, but we already know, you know, this is a precursor. And all all road leads to what? America, Babylon the Great. This is the last and final peak right before the Lord returns. So we already know that these things is going to happen right here in our backyard. So we're not even worried about this because we already know and the Lord already know, told us, you know, say, hey, be thy faithful until death. He shall give us a crown of life. You know, even in death, the Lord is going to deliver us. You know, he's going, you know what I'm saying? He's going to give us power over the nation. You know what I'm saying? He's going to give us immortality. Spiritual power. That's what we're that's what we're longing for. That's why we're rejoiced. We're ready for this nightmare to be over. But a lot of our people are still uh have the wrong mindset, still a degenerate, still are not considerate, still uh, uh uh have that gentile mindset. And one thing about it is that you know, if you live like a heathen, you get ready to die like a heathen. Just like you live like a dog, you get ready to die like a dog. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, hey man. If things are getting ready to pick up, the Lord is getting ready to bring massive judgment. Let's see if we can get a little bit more on this. It said critics argue uh, that the Trudeau uh, supported bill will lead to severe penalties for those who public publicly practice traditional Christian belief, especially regarding controversial issues such as uh, transgender genderism. And one thing about it, you know, you can, you won't be able to speak out about uh homosexuality, you know, we got to keep it, you know, 
You got to watch what we say because one thing about it, you know, even though even the truth is deemed as bad right now, you know, the like right now the world is upside down. It's all out of order. You know, what is good is bad and what is bad is good. So so one thing about it, the Lord is getting ready to come back and set up that righteous order and also the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. Let's see what else we can get here out of here. Um, I think I, I pretty much sold the point, but we seeing that it's going, you know, they're going to deem this as a hate, hate speed. Our people already is bucking up against this. I got a little quick. 15 second little video it's just just a 15 second just pretty much saying the same thing but it's got a few scriptures there revelation chapter 12 and also uh jeremiah chapter 30 and 7 jacob's trouble famine of the word the door's repentance is almost over jacob's trouble <laughs> So we see that we, we are very close to this time. We know that this truth is getting ready to be a thing of the past. That's why, you know, when you go to Isaiah chapter 55, you know, I think around verse uh, six or seven, it tells you that, you know, you know, seek the Lord while he can be found. You know what I'm saying? Call upon him, you know, why he is near. And one thing about through what? Through the men of the Lord, the voice of the Lord, the mouthpiece. But a lot of people still are scoffing and mock. They still deem this as hate speech, saying that we're crazy. Still saying that, you know, that, that you know what I'm saying? We don't know what the hell we are talking about. You get ready to find out what we're talking about, everyone on the planet. And also, you get ready to find out who is the devil that the Bible speaks of. You get ready to find out very soon. You're in for a rude awakening. So now let's start today's lesson. Uh, in, uh, Amos chapter 3 and verse 11 said, Behold, the days come, says the Lord power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst uh, for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So, hey, we coming very close to that time. Not a famine of what? A bread. Not a famine of what? A war. But hearing the words of the Lord. So, hey, you see these YouTube channels up right now. We seeing that people are going live right now. You see these guys on these uh, street corners that you were saying wearing dresses. Constantly, you know, uh, keeping not silent. Warning you of these opinion things. Telling you about World War Three. Also telling you about this digital society. You know what I'm saying? It's still going your right hand or your forehead. Telling you about the Karagma. You know, and, and one thing about the M O T B. You know, it is at the door. You know, and also we tell you about great tribulation, great persecution, great sorrow, great mourning, the beginning of sorrow, Jacob's trouble. We aren't we telling you about it, but these things are getting ready to have an expiration date. The Lord is getting ready to what? Close the door, repenting, and He's getting ready to bring forth that judgment that you have never seen before. Verse twelve says, "And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east." They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the law and shall not find it. So one thing about it, so eventually this truth is coming off the internet. You know, one we already know they keep talking about a cyber attack. Uh, the internet will be down. You know, telling you that your phone won't work. A lot of things are coming upon us. Telling you about what? Uh, a great famine in land, which is what? Food shortage. You know, rolling blackout, power grid. So what are you going to do? Your faith is getting ready to be tried. Also, the Lord is breaking the staff of uh, bread, which in fact, your necessity, your way of life. And one thing about it, you know, he, a lot of right now, a lot of our people right now living fat off the hog right now. You know, they are spoiled, rotten, eating everything every day, all sorts of abomination, you know, doing whatever, relaxing in their lead. But when the Lord snatch all that away from you, who will you call on? You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, your true power, or are you going to trust in the strength of Egypt and you will be totally destroyed? And one thing about it, the Lord's getting ready to find out, you know, so a lot of people going to be searching. Where are those men? Where are they at? You know what I'm saying? They was telling us the truth. And But one thing about it, we get ready to laugh at your calamity very soon. We told you so. He said, in that day, Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 33, he said, and lo, when, the, when these things come to pass, then they shall know that a prophet was among them. You're getting ready to find out. You're getting ready to get your mind right. Also, you're getting ready to feel the fire. So now let's go here to uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 3. Quick lesson through the Spirit. And once again, I hope that you will get edified. You know, and hoping that we are a part of the Hofi uh, elect. And we are hasting the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, man, we cannot wait, man. We ready to get the hell out of here. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 3, it will start up at verse 26. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 26. And it reads, And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and thou and shall not be 
to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. So they hate the Lord's getting ready to cut the mouthpiece off very soon. You know what I'm saying? We out here right now. We constantly warning you left and right. Hey, you're a Hebrew Israelite. We constantly tell you a lot of people smile. What is this all about? You know, what are you talking about? What did you find in that? But one thing about it, you're not listening. You're not hearing because what? The election has attained it and the rest was blinded. See, the Lord has, you know, he put, put them blinders up on you. He gave you a spirit of deep deep sleep because you were that same rebellious house that did not want to return to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So there's no new thing under the sun. So, hey, our tongues get ready to cleave to the roof of our mouth. And one thing about it, we will be in the secret place of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse 27 says, but when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth and thou uh, shall say unto them, thus said the Lord power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He that hears, let him hear. And he that forbear, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house to this day. Stiff neck, hard head, hate the good, love the evil, hate him that rebuke us at the gate. We're constantly warning you left and right. What happened to the prophet back then? Same rebellious nigga killed the prophets back. They killed our Lord and Savior back then. Right now, they're going to they gonna buck up again, come against the prophets again. But the Lord's going to lift up a standard this time. You know, and one thing about a lot of people thinking that, you know, because we... We look like, or we're Israelite, but all Israel is not the same. The Lord is only coming back for the Israel of the Most High. When you go to uh, Romans uh, Romans 9, also I think in Galatians 6, if I'm not mistaken. But one thing about it is that that's, the Lord is coming back for the true believers. The one that was with him, the one that's preordained from the beginning, that was with the Lord. The Lord is coming back for his kin people, you know, his, the, what, the first fruit, you know what I'm saying, the elect. The house of David. Hey, man, one thing about it is, hey, man, that's all we worrying about. Selling of the elect, and we getting the hell out of this nightmare. So now let's go here. Let's go here. You know, our Lord and Savior, they hated him first, and they also shall hate you. If you're a true man of the Lord, you're, you're going to be hated. Uh, let's go here to St. John's. St. John, let's go here right quick. St. John, St. John chapter 15 and verse... Let's go to verse 18. John, first St. John's chapter 15 and verse 18, we'll start here. It said, so if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Uh, verse 19, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. And one thing about it, we're not of this world. That meaning that we're not of this mindset. You know what I'm saying? We came back under the total subjection to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We are remembering ourselves in the what? The land of our captivity. We call on the Lord's name. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about it is that you know what I'm saying? Hey man, it's plain and simple. We seeing a great separation. We seeing that the Lord is constantly uh, changing the vibration of the earth. We seeing that America is constantly what? Declining. We seeing this place is finished. You know what I'm saying? This nightmare is about to be over. And one thing about it, the same, the, the same thing uh, that our Lord and Savior went through, you know, you'll get ready to go through. You'll get ready to be tried and tested. The what the 12 disciples, all the prophets of the men, they're back in right now. The spirit of the prophets are subject to the prop to the prophet. And one thing about it, we know that we're going to get to the finish line. The Lord has overcome. We also shall overcome. Amen. We cannot wait. Amen. The Lord is getting ready to come with great glory and great power. Verse uh 20 says, Remember the, the word that I say unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord, if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sin, they will keep yours also. That's plain and simple. Verse 21 said, but said, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai say, because they know not him that sent me. So a lot of people right now, they uh they don't know the Lord right now. They don't fear the Lord. And they're constantly being rebelled. They're constantly being stiff-necked, you know, self will you know, walking in great pride, doing all sorts of abomination, things that is displeasing to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But these things are getting ready to come to the end. Right now, the opportunity now is to seek your true power. But one thing about it, the door of repentance closed. The Lord is getting ready to uh, pull back this truth. Once he get that said measure, and all hell is getting ready to break loose. Hey, man, you're getting ready to be persecuted through much tribulation. Ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven. So now, let's go here to uh, let's go here to uh, Revelation chapter uh, 2 and verse 10. Let's go here. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2. 
You know, so we come to punish them. You get ready to be hated by all nations. Two and ten. And it reads, said, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall be, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Said, said, the Lord said, well, fear none of, of those things which shall, thou shalt suffer. The Lord said, don't worry about that. The Lord got us, you know, regardless, you know, how it look. Or what, or what situation that you're in at that particular time, you know, is that you know might be rather to guilty. The Lord and something, the Lord could stop it at any given moment. So the Lord's gonna help us out in ways that we do not know how to. Or change the mic when you go to Daniel chapter twelve and uh, verse one. He's gonna stand up for the children of Israel. So the Lord is gonna make a way for us to escape. All we must do is constantly trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, even in death. The Lord said he would give us a crown of life. And that's coming very soon. These guilty, these theme, theme accounts. Also, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all this different persecution, you know, sedition among men, insurrection. They would be like madmen, but the Lord will be with us all the way to the finish line. Hey, man, the Lord will never forsake us. He will never leave us. Go, so, hey, man, one thing about it that, you know what I'm saying? The Lord said, uh, said, uh, Verse in uh in uh Revelation chapter three. Let's go there. Let's go this right quick. Let's just get this right here. This is what the Lord promised us right here. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna deliver us. You know, Revelation chapter three and verse ten it said, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So we already know about this bill. You know what I'm saying? This uh this hate speech uh bill. That's what I call it. You know what I'm saying? Censorship. Uh a freedom of speech. So a lot of things that we're saying right now is going to get ready to be a thing in the past. So a lot of men channels getting taken down with, I think a post, I think uh, one of my, uh, one of the brothers, uh, uh, he got a strike on his page because of a post that he put up, not even a lesson. So, you know, we know that they're getting, they, it, it, it is going to increase. We can wake up one moment. I mean, wake up one morning and our whole channel could be determinated. You know, so also we can have a knock at the door with federal agents. So you want to think about it, we're getting prepared. We stand prayed up. And one thing about it, we'll stand on fire for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh We're knowing that we're getting ready to get to the finish line. We're seeing that the prophecy is speaking loud and clear. Family of the words comes coming and the lord said this gospel shall be preached throughout the four quarters of the earth and then shall the end come and exactly what's happening right now so hey man these prophecies are popping left and right and one thing about it, that judgment is coming right before our eyes so now let's go here to uh let's go here to uh zephaniah let's go here to zephaniah chapter zephaniah chapter two let's go here and then we get one more zephaniah chapter two Zephaniah chapter 2, and we'll start up. Let's go here. Let's start up at verse. Let's see here. Let's see. Here. Let's start up at verse 1. But the point is in verse 3. Uh, we'll read down to verse 3. And it and it reads, it said, it said, Gather yourself together. Yea, gather together, O nation, uh, not desired. Verse 2 said, Before the decree bring bring forth, before the day pass as the child, before the fierce anger of of the Lord come upon you before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Verse three says, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. So one thing about it, so it is time to seek the Lord right now. The door of repentance are closing. And one thing about it, you have the opportunity now. If the Lord is dealing with you and you have heard his word, it resonates with you. It's time to seek the Lord. It's time to pray without ceasing. It's time to walk accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Build up your faith. And one thing about it, you know, gird up your Lord. You know what I'm saying? Put on the whole armor of Yahweh. By Shimmy, I was shy because hey man, these things are fast to approach. Let's read this again from the top. You know, I I love this 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 these verses. And I got power in them. Zephaniah chapter two and verse one. Let's read all back down to verse three again. The point is in in, in verse three. Let's read it read down again. Say, gather yourself together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. What nation is not desired right now? You know what the the Israel, which in fact is what the Latinos, the the, uh, the native Indians, the Negroes, and added about the, the Israel of the Most High, the true believers. You know we're not we're not going to be desired when this time of trouble come. You know what I'm saying? One thing about the hey man, we have to almost at the end of this thing. The Lord is getting ready to to increase us. The Lord is getting ready to set the record straight. The writing is on the wall. It says it says here it said it said before the decree 
bring forth before the day pass as the child, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord anger come upon you. Say so one thing about it, the Lord uh, indignation. It's almost at the door. The Lord's getting ready to bring that wrath. And one thing about it, the day of the Lord will be a day of gloominess, a day of darkness, a day that you have never seen before. The Lord's getting ready to shake the world when he returns. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be that great angelic force. And one thing about it, he's going to be mad as hell. And one thing about it, you finna find out who your true power is. And it's not white man Jesus. You say white man Jesus, in that day you're getting ready to get laid down even with the ground. You get ready to be turned into what? Into powder. One thing about it, the Lord is not going to be playing. And one thing about it, all the games about to be over. Verse three, it says, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, the elect, which have wroth his judgment. It says, Seek righteousness, seek meekness. Say, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. One thing about it. The Lord going to come in there like a whirlwind. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it. You shall seek the Lord early. But you shall not find it. Because what? You were that same rebellious house. That did not want to return to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Child. So we see that this bill. They putting all these different uh, uh, bills in place. Putting all these unrighteous decrees. That they have what prescribed or authorized. Putting these what mandates in place. These what executive orders. The devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. And one thing about it, we knowing that when the enemy come in like a flood, the Lord's going to lift up that stun, a way to escape. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of time. One thing about it, you got to put your what? Total trust in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So let's go to our last and final script and we'll, we'll, we'll close it out here in uh, Amos chapter 5. So like Amos chapter 5, we'll close it out here. Just rolling in the spirit. Let's see here. Amos chapter 5. One moment. Amos chapter five, Amos chapter five and verse, I think it's around verse 13. Amos chapter five and verse 13. <clears throat> uh, and it reads, it says, it says here in uh, Amos chapter five and verse thir uh, 13, it says, therefore the prudent shall keep silent in that time for it is a evil time. So one thing about it, hey, so the prophets of the Lord, we're going to keep silent in that time. We won't be our approval. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, the Lord is going to gather up uh, the elect. We will be in the secret place of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. One thing about it, you know, won't no harm come towards these elect. Now, some of those will be uh, miters during that particular time, but that, that is if that's your lot. But one thing about it, you know, uh, 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 to a minimum. But one thing about it, the Lord is getting ready to come and deliver us with great glory and great power. You know, hey man, let's read this again. Amos chapter 5 and verse 13 said, Therefore, the prudent or the wise shall keep silent in that time, for it is a evil time. What is that? Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, the MOTB. A lot of things are getting ready to happen right before I. Great death, great mourning, great sorrow, great persecution, great sorrow. Hey Amen. It's right before I. Verse 14, seek good and not evil that ye may live. And so the Lord, the power, the power of hosts shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hey, one thing about it is that, man, we're here, man. We are here. So, hey, so so we see it right now that the prophet is going to, what, keep silent in that time of trouble. You know, that was the point, verse 13. And one thing about it, you know, say, hey, man, seek good. You know what I'm saying? Not evil. You know what I'm saying? Walk accordingly. You know, get your mind right. You know what I'm saying? Get your house in order. Let go of the martyr thought because the Lord is getting ready to bring this judgment. And one thing about it, when the Lord bring it, there will be no more talking. So the title of the day's lesson, once again, is there is no more any prophet. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekak Kwadash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.